Well, the men's 100 metres next on the track. Veteran Kim Collins goes in lane three. Four times third in the uh, World Championships. Uh, but uh, Collins in three in a field which doesn't feature too many of the major names from Rio, it has to be said. Alex Wilson, seventh in the European Championships over 200 metres for Switzerland. He's their double champion from their championships in July. Harry Aikens Aridi of Great Britain, former world junior champion, goes in lane two, fifth in the UK Championships, 100 this summer. Then Kim Collins goes in three. The world champion back in 2003, 40 years old now, the man from St. Kitts and Nevis. Sixth in the Olympic 200 back in 2008. Joel Fearon, well, the big sprint surprise of this summer, 996 on the 30th of July for the Britain. He's only raced domestically so far this year. For Britain, Maite of the Ivory Coast, sixth in the Rio 100, probably starts for his favourite, a national record in the Rio final, four times sub-10 this year. And speaking of sub-10, he's been under 10 seconds for 13 seasons as a Safa Powell, 95 sub-10 seconds runs. Can he add to that total this evening, the Jamaican? He's in sixth. Tarani Martina, fifth in the Rio 200, goes in lane seven. The 32-year-old Dutchman still going strong. Of course, European champion at 100 in Amsterdam. And Solomon Bakari of the Netherlands completes the lineup. Fourth in the European Championships, 200. He's in lane eight. Well, the meeting record, 9.69 by Johan Blake back in 2012. He's not quite the same athlete these days as we saw in Rio. That lineup from the far side again. Alex Wilson of Switzerland in one. Aiken Zariti of Great Britain in two. Then Kim Collins goes in three. Third from right. Watch him, a fast starter. Joel Fearon in four. Big step up for the Britain. Maite five. Powell six. Martina seven. Bokari lane eight. Powell third to left. Good start from Powell, really good start from Maite too in the orange shorts. Powell coming back at him now, Maite beginning to get away. Fear on having a good run too in the all black, but Powell's going to get it by half a metre from Maite. 9.97. It is indeed sub-10, number 96 for Asafa Powell. Boy, oh boy. Again and again he keeps churning him out. Even though his only major international title was a Commonwealth Games victory in Melbourne back in 2006, can you believe? He's got plenty of goals from the relay squad with his Jamaican teammates, remember? But Powell 996 is confirmed from uh, Maite's 10.01. And Joel Fearon stepped up to the plate pretty well, Steve, third in 10.05. Yeah, Fearon is a, is a big talent. He was injured a little bit early in the year, and you have to remember that he's part of the GB bobsleigh team, so he's only really been allowed to have a go at this season. He's already said he doesn't know if 2017 he'll really be able to let, be allowed to have a real go at it, but goodness me, didn't he give Powell and Maite uh, run for their money? Powell, not in the individual event, of course, in Rio, as you said. Maite did run very well there, so I just wonder what Fearon could have done. Powell... Did his team proud? Did Usain Bolt proud? How much pressure was on those three guys in the relay to get the baton to Bolt for that ninth gold medal? Powell playing his part in that, of course, and having enough time just to check it was another sub-10 second clocking. So good and so relaxed when he's in winning position, isn't he? Got out well and uh, just got that gap and held on nicely. Conditions tonight, though, very, certainly conducive to quick running. There it is. 996 for Powell, ahead of mine, takes 10.01. Fear on 10.05. Martina, well, for a man who's better at 200, 10.15. Solid in fourth, and Kim Collins, well, some way back in fifth there, 10.24.